Much to everyone's surprise, DJI recently released new firmware and uh, DJI Go 4 app for the Mavic. And let's take a look at some of these features. So they updated some stuff with their highlight thing, uh, the Spark, the editor, all that stuff. Um, but basically for the Mavic, they added a quick shot mode. So if you're not familiar with quick shots, the DJI Spark has a quick shot mode. And so that includes circle, droney, helix. And so it's various flight modes, basically rocket uh, is one of the other ones as well because the Spark has significantly less options for flight uh, compared to the Mavic. And some of the Mavic people, of course, were complaining like, hey, why don't we get these updates and why don't we get these quick shot modes? Now, some people, of course, feel that they're kind of cheesy, but it is nice having a drony mode where it does it automatically. You don't have to try to set up a waypoint or anything like that. It just does it by itself and flies back. So on the Mavic here, it looks like they added the quick shot mode and they also added uh, dynamic home point updating. So that way, if you're doing active track or moving around, it's following you, it changes its home point, but we'll talk about that in a different one. So as far as the Mavic itself goes, the modes that they now offer are Helix. So with Helix, the drone, it's almost like a circle mode, but it will pull further and further away from you. So it kind of gives like a cool, uh, it's a spiral mode basically. So it looks at the, the home point or the uh, object you select and it circles around it basically getting further away from it. Uh, they also added rocket and so with rocket mode the drone will look at whatever item it is and go up basically and as it does so of course it pans the camera down to keep you in the frame and the last one of course that they offer is droney. So with droney the drone does exactly that. It basically looks at you and it backs further away. So I've noticed that they have added on there a countdown basically so when you do start these modes it counts from three, uh, two, one, zero, and then it starts recording and it starts doing the shot mode. So we'll uh, take a look at that. We'll fly it around and try it out and see just how smooth it is and how well it works. Keep in mind, you do need to have the latest firmware on both the DJI Go app as well as on the Mavic itself. So make sure you update, do that from the computer. As you've seen in the other videos, I've had issues trying to do it from the phone. So if you are have the option, make sure you do it from the computer, get that updated, and let's fly this around and see what the different modes offer. And you can see on here, it. Uh, everything is currently up to date, including the batteries. So starting the quick shots is super easy. You just hit your modes here. You go to quick shot and then you drag a box around whatever item it is that you want. It'll automatically start at droney, but it will show you your options right here. And you have droney, helix and rocket. Now, the blue item droney is currently selected, so if you hit that, it actually brings up a distance thing here, and that way you can tell it how far back you want it to go. So we'll go ahead and just leave it around 50, hit back, and once you hit go, it starts counting down, and you'll see it start to record, and also give an update uh, for percentage as well. So it shows on there uh, 7, 8, 11, and it'll keep going back. And make sure, of course, when you're doing this, you have plenty of room around you. There's no trees, there's no kids, there's no whatever that the drone might fly backward into. Now, the cool thing about quick shots is after it ends, the, the drone will automatically come back to you. So right now, it's, it's driving right now. It goes out to its distance. It hits, uh, you know, its max point. It stops recording and it'll automatically fly back. So really easy, super, super convenient uh, to have and to use. All right, so that was Droney. So now let's take a look at the next option here. Hit quick shots, drag a box around us, and we'll go ahead and do Helix. Now Helix gives a brief description and you of course can tell it not to show you again, but it is pretty uh, straightforward. You know, it just circles around you and does its thing. It gets a, a really cool shot. So hit okay. And for this, I'm gonna gain a little bit of altitude because, um, I don't want to hit a tree or anything like that. So we should be good. And same thing with Helix, you can change the direction. So clockwise or counterclockwise, as well as the distance on there as well. So we'll do, keep it smaller, do 30 back. And again, we're selected and all you have to do is hit go. It starts counting down and it'll automatically do the shot. Of course, you'll see that it did start recording and it gives a percentage on there as well. 
So one interesting thing about Helix is I know on the Spark anyway, even with the latest update, it does struggle a little bit with it. It has trouble keeping you in the center of the frame. I think that the Mavic will be able to do it a lot better because it's a more powerful drone and uh, the 3-axis gimbal, of course, certainly helps out with that as well. And otherwise, I mean, you can see it's doing its thing here and it's still at 70%, so it's gonna keep going around. Now, obviously, if you do a further distance, uh, helix shot, then you get a much more dramatic uh, cinematic look to the shot. But right now I'm kind of in a, a tighter area. I've got some trees and some buildings and everything around me. So I don't want to have it go crazy. But if I was in the wide open, this would be a really, really cool shot to use. And just like I had mentioned before, the drone automatically comes back to its starting point. And the last new mode that DJI has added for the quick shots on the Mavic is going to be rocket. So Go ahead and circle us again. We'll choose Rocket, and Rocket tells you exactly that. Basically, it goes up and it keeps the camera centered on the subject. Hit OK, and again with Rocket, you can specify how high it's going to go. It looks like the minimum height is uh, 10 meters and the maximum is 120. So for this, we'll just leave it at uh, maybe 50. Perfect, hit back. And again, hitting go counts down. It'll start recording as soon as it hits the zero, of course, and it also gives a percentage. And then on top of that, you can see all of the stats about the drone itself, how high it is, uh, how fast it's moving, and all of that. And then of course, you get the percentage thing here, so it shows we're at 45% right now. And again, these shots, some people think are really cheesy, but it's just nice that that the Mavic has these built in. You don't have to try to manually do this and that it automatically comes back to you. This really does add, uh, you know, versatility to the drone itself. And I like it because if you don't, you know, want to use it, you don't have to. But otherwise, sometimes it's cool. You do want to just do a quick drony or, you know, get kind of a shot like this without having to manually do it. And so it's just nice that DJI has added this on. And the other thing that I'm very happy to report on is if you've seen any of my other videos with the Spark, you'll know that the quick shot menu had a lot of uh, issues when it first came out and it took several updates before it actually worked and this is the first time that they've added the quick shots to the mavic and i mean you've saw everything right here i went through and i haven't run into any errors or problems with it working so that's kind of nice that right off the bat they had everything working including distances because at first with the spark there was no distances so droney would go like a mile away and so it's just cool that the Mavic now has this. So this is the quick shot menu on the Mavic with the newest update from DJI. All right, as I mentioned before, those are the new quick shot options available for the Mavic from DJI. This is straight from the DJI Go 4 app. Everything worked pretty well. Uh, I obviously, as you saw, there's no issues, no errors. The drone kept flying. Um, I haven't, of course, checked the footage. I will check that once we get home, but obviously during this video, you'll have that overlaid. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more cool updates and find out about new features that DJI is offering. And I guess the last thing I did wanna uh, let you know is I did try this out with Litchi. So I'm running the newest firmware and software on everything and Litchi flew just fine. I ran a couple missions on that. So if you're concerned about uh, you know running no problem with that, um, don't be, uh, I didn't run into any issues. So again, keep flying, update your drone, have fun, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.